in our practices speak higher self, we are speaking about this layer beyond. Because this layer beyond, like your aura, is expanding beyond your physical body. This one that is just here is still carrying your purpose in life. Namaste creators and welcome to another episode of Ask Master Anything where Master Shri Akarsana answers all of our questions. So Namaste Master, thank you so much namaste. for being here. And the question that we're going to be speaking about today is asked by Ugana. So she says, um, dear handsome master, <laughs> please explain us what is the higher self and collective conscious? What is the difference, how to connect them how do we know that they are connecting to our higher self? Thank you. <laughs> because all energy is interconnected. That's a science. Mm -hmm. You sat there, if you are really warm and you're sat close, we will feel warmth. That is energy uh, coinciding. They're all uh, interconnected. We feel, you know, the sun, shining we feel the warmth our energies are connected you see the moon the way it moves moving ocean waves everything is interconnected so we know our breathing is because of the trees everything every energy is exchanging it's non-stop exchanging it's all interconnected okay if you go to a different environment And uh, even if you don't speak to anyone, some environments you feel good. Some environments you feel not so good. Some environments you feel, oh, just heavy energies. You feel sometimes, right? Disturbing, you feel frustrated somewhere, okay? This is what you're feeling with the collective energies, right? So uh, everything is connected. Uh, how do we know it, it just is? We, you, everything, every example that we just given, it, it, it already shows it, it proves it. I think that when we look at collective energy, I, you can call collective energy, that mean, what does collective mean? Everything, all energies. So some people refer to as the word God. That's why people say also God is within us and we are God and God moves through us, right? So, God, universe, people, some people say universe, some people say collective, some people say higher consciousness. Um, it could be any of this. Some people call their higher self. Now, these are all semantics because it depends how people look at higher self now. You look at higher self as godly, God, or you look at higher self as the um, higher extension, but... Uh, lower tier than the full collective. So there are so many tiers. It's like this energy and this energy is inside and this energy is inside and this energy is inside and this energy is inside, this energy is inside. So some people can refer to higher self as, wow, that higher self, the higher being, everything, God. Or some people say higher self is, okay, this layer is my higher self. Right? My next deeper layer. Okay? So it depends how uh, people interpret it. But um, a lot of the time when uh, we in our practices speak higher self, we are speaking about this layer beyond. Because this layer beyond, like your aura, mm -hmm. is expanding beyond your physical body. This one that is just here is still carrying your purpose in life, your individual purpose. So when we speak about higher self, this is still knowing me more. That one has too much to manage. So this one we connect to and we can call for answers. And what does that mean? It's, it's to know ourselves better. In life it's very important to know ourselves. They say, know thyself. One of the first uh, core principles. If you don't know yourself, it's 
quite difficult to navigate successfully and peacefully through life. And uh, the problem is most people are focused outside, are looking at everything that's happening around them and uh, re responding and reacting to everything around them. Most people don't live their purpose. Most people don't live their passion. Most people are just doing everything that everybody else tells them. This is good, that's good. You should marry someone like this, or this is a good partner for you, or you should not get a job like this, or that's a good job for you, or you should live in this country. And people are, oh, forever just, and that's why most people are confused. Oh, I should do that, that makes sense, yeah. Okay, go do that. Oh, I should do that, oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, oh that's the relationship for me. I try, oh, it's not though. You know, oh, somebody else said it's something else. Oh, it's something else, okay, cool, that's something else. Uh, but we need to understand that it's not one model that fits all. What is good for you doesn't mean that it's good for me. Just like what you like to eat may not be something that I like to eat. It's like that everybody's uh, a desire and taste is, for taste is different. And so life is the same. So your first thing before you are just you know, taking all this random advice from everyone and being, and this is conscious or unconscious advice. Unconsciously, we're taking advice too. If we know ourselves very well, then uh, we will not be going round in circles for round in circles forever, trying to chase our purpose and find our passion and find fulfillment and find happiness. You know, so I would say that in, in my life, I, I would probably dedicate tw twenty-five to thirty years doing that doing everything that everybody says and still trying to figure it out. You see a lot of people these days, even a lot of motivational speakers, even a lot of inspiring people today, you see them on, on, on social media, in their speeches, they say, I'm still trying to figure it out. And they say, we are all still trying to figure it all out, okay? which is not completely true. Because uh, I think that figuring it out starts from figuring yourself out. Once you completely figure yourself out, you know exactly, ah, this is who I am. These are my skills. These are my weaknesses. This is what I'm good at. This is what I'm not. This is what I like. This is what I don't, right? But don't confuse that with what is comfortable and what is uncomfortable, mm -hmm. because sometimes uncomfortable is good also. But I know the difference. When I know the difference, and then, ah, this is my purpose. This is my inner purpose, and then this is my higher purpose. This is what I know I'm supposed to do in this world, right? And once you know that, you will not be distracted by anything. Nobody, even at, uh, at times when you are challenged in life, and this is where most people get disturbed, when people are challenged in life. Mm. When people are, when they feel a few, a few challenges come on, you're very easily disturbed. Oh, this is tough now. Somebody says, you should do something else. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you, you're, you're easily convinced when you're challenged because the emotions are high, intelligence mm -hmm. is low, you know? So, but but when, when you know yourself and you know your reason for being here, you know your purpose, it, it, this will not happen because you are challenged. Yet at the same time, you know there's not another path. This is your path. So no matter what people say, hey, you should try something else. What are you talking about? <laughs> I know what I need to do. You will not be distracted. You know how to fulfill your dharma. You know how to fulfill that purpose in life. So it's important that everybody connects to higher self. It's important that people learn to and uh, take, take some guidance, uh, find a teacher, uh, and uh, be guided through it because it's much easier if you find the right teacher to guide you through it, it's much easier to find that. Thank you so much, Master. And as you were speaking, uh, maybe something that we can leave the people who are watching this video, because this might be one of the most important questions that you face in your life. Like, okay, what is my purpose? Or how can I find it? How can I actually 
um, get to know myself better. So what are different practices and perhaps maybe some resources that we have that we can share uh, with, with the people who are watching today? Uh, I think uh, we're related to this uh, uh, purpose and, and, and higher self and connection and, and, and intuition, all of this. I think best is to join the 108 circle. So again, maybe join the Discord and uh, can ask the community inside there how to join the 108 circle and uh, they will, they, the, some of the leaders will be able to guide them. Perfect. Thank you so much, Master. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and share it with someone who maybe you know that is struggling to find their purpose or to get to know themselves so that this video can serve them too. Also in the description, you will be finding the Discord channel where you can enter, leave us your, your details, and then we will find what is the best way to help you find yours. And also let us know in the comments where you are tuned in from. We love to always give shout outs to our global community. So other than that, thank you so much, Master, for being here with us. Namaste, Namo Himalaya. Namaste. Namo See you next time. Namo. Mm-hmm. <laughs>